आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ अ नेशन इंडिया ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हैज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आई आर न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यू अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ द स्ट्रगल एवरी डे टूडे इन आवर हंड्रेड एपिसोड वी कमेमोरेट ग्लोबली रिनाउंड इंडियन साइंटिस्ट जगदीश चंद्र बोस who died on 23rd of November 1937 a pioneer in plant physiology radio technology and various other scientific fields bose made many significant contributions to our modern understanding of the natural world bose's phenomenal scientific discoveries inspired the formation of modern india has also imbued indians with a reaffirmed identity in the fight against british imperialism Bose was born on the 30th of November 1858 in Munshi Ganj Bengal Presidency now in Bangladesh to Bhagwan Chandra Bose a civil servant who was also active in Hindu reform movements Bose was raised in a home committed to Indian traditions and culture his father got Bose admitted to a vernacular school as opposed to an expensive English language school to learn his own language Bangla and to know and understand a wide variety of people The impact of this early life experience and contact with a range of different people stayed with Bose throughout his life and was clear in his attitude towards his work and life. Bose's father overruled his wish to join the Indian civil services and instead sent him to England to study medicine at the University of London. However, his repeated illness kept him from completing his medical studies, and he instead pursued higher studies in natural sciences and physics. After returning to India, Bose joined the Presidency College as a professor of physics. Despite racial discrimination by British administration, he made remarkable progress in his research of remote wireless signaling. However, Instead of trying to gain commercial benefit from this invention, Bose made his inventions public in order to allow others to further develop his research. Bose made a number of pioneering discoveries in plant physiology and used his own invention, the crescograph. to measure plant response to various stimuli and thereby scientifically proved parallelism between animal and plant tissues to facilitate his research he constructed automatic recorders capable of registering extremely slight movements these instruments produced some striking results such as quivering of injured plants which bose interpreted as power of feeling in plants in 1917 he founded the bose institute a premier research institute of india and also one of its oldest while praising jagdish chandra bose rabindranath tagore said from the temple of science in the west far across the indus o oh my friend you have brought the garland of victory a crater on the moon has been named in bose's honor we salute this great indian Today we also remember a writer journalist and cultural activist Pyari Chand Mitra who left us on the 23rd of November 1883 Mitra is known for his contribution to the development of journalism and Bangla literature Mitra was a member of Henry the Rosio's Young Bengal group who played a leading role in the Bengal Renaissance with the introduction of simple Bengali prose He was associated with various social initiatives and was a member of the Calcutta University Senate Bethune Society and the British India Association. He also worked towards development of agriculture in the country and criticized the system of permanent settlement. He also founded an organization for the translation of books on agriculture from English to Bengali. In 1857 Mitra along with Radhanath Sikdar started a small magazine Mosik Patrika which used simple spoken Bengali prose 
It was a major breakthrough in the use of Bengali and the magazine instantly became popular. His novel, Alalayer Ghorer Dulal, written under the pseudonym Tek Chand Thakur, used simple Bengali prose closer to the spoken speech of the day and was serialized in the magazine. So great was its popularity that the language style came to be known as Olali. Pyari Chand Mitra continued to work for the betterment of Indian society till the very end. We salute this great son of the soil. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow.